So the Lord, he's not lazy, right? He's not slothful. He's not, he, he doesn't have this, the slackness that a lot of men and women have today, right? That's not the, the spirit of God, right? Read on. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness. Uh, concerning his promise, right? He has promises set up in this, pop, uh, in this Bible. He has prophecies set up in this Bible that are going to happen. Why? Because he said it. Read on. But is long suffering to us what? But, but God is long suffering towards his chosen people. Towards you, my sister. Towards, towards you, my sister. Towards you, my brother. Right? He is long suffering. You understand? Read on. Not willing that any should perish. He doesn't want none of us to perish. Remember, the scriptures say to warn the people from God. Right? Because what's going to happen if we don't change? We are here to, to let the people know God says change. We all have to change from that slave mentality. We got to change from that. That's the whole point in this Bible. Right? We got to change from a slave to, to, to a child of God. You understand? Read on. But that all should come to repentance. That all should come back to repentance. Right? So all the Israelites, that's what God really wants. He don't want you to, st to stay a, a so-called black woman. He don't, he don't want you to stay a, a so-called black man. You have to wake up every single morning to go to work for a so-called white man, the same people that had us in chains. He doesn't want that. But we are on punishment. God says, I, I will afflict you now. You my children, so I'm dealing with you. Y'all better take this form of punishment so y'all won't have to deal with the other form of punishment. Y'all know what that means, right? What's that talking about? What we call that? Hell. He don't want his chosen people to go to hell. But the Bible already prophesies that the majority of God's chosen people, the Israelites, they're not going to wake up. They're not going to come back to him. They're going to stay on drugs. They're going to stay smoking weed. They're going to stay uh, gang banging, killing each other. All of those things are brainwashing from the same, from our enemies that they gave to us to, say, to uh, stay slaves. That was a brainwashing uh, from them to us. God is being patient with us so we won't have to experience hell. Right? Read on. Okay, so I ain't trying to be rude, but I gotta go. I just did 10 hours at work. I can't, I, I just came with my prayer. I'm crying. One more before you leave. Let me get one more. I my dinner on before I gotta I, I understand, sis. Let me get you one more before you leave, all right? Give me a uh, modest apparel. Modest apparel. All right, so as an Israelite, right? Because that's who you are, sis. Believe, believe it or not, that's who you are. That's who you really are. You're not a okay good so so if you if you claim to be an Israelite there's something that comes with it all right we have to keep God's commandments we have to it's a requirement by God in order for you not to experience hell right because even if your your fleshly body is going to die off eventually but guess what your soul is still going to be in existence you understand that so what realm is it going to exist in? That's the question. That's why we are here. Go ahead, read that. This is the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 9. Uh -huh. In like manner also that the woman adorned themselves. That the woman do what? Adorn themselves. So this is talking about the so-called black woman, the Israelite woman, you and the rest of our sisters. Read on. In modest apparel. In what type of apparel? Modest apparel. All right, so my sister. All right, so as an Israelite, as God's chosen daughter, right, you have to start ordaining yourself in modest apparel. So what does that mean? What does that mean to you? Let me ask you before we get that. Dress in a, that's kind of broad, but in a specific type of way. So what does that mean? Church. I guess cover my body up. Cover your body up, right? So right now, are you uh, dressed in modest apparel? You're not, right? But if you change, God is gonna deal with you, right? This this ain't about us. This, but this is a requirement by God. Right. This is what He's saying. He's not gonna come to you specifically and say, "Hey, you need to uh, put on a dress, cover up your bodies." I, I see your your top, you see through, and all that. He ain't gonna do that. He gonna use his prophets to use this Bible to tell you you need to cover up. That's what 
That's what he's going to do, sis. And right now, he's telling you to cover up. But look, I got about 10 more years before I cover up here. 10 more years. You, you don't know if you have that time, sis. You don't know. You don't know if you're gonna die tomorrow. You're right. But, okay. Give me a uh, ways of right. sending. Uh, right. Romans. So Romans six. I definitely follow the main things I'm supposed to follow, and I know God. Ain't it's everything, sis. It's right. everything. We gonna we gonna bring it out for you, sis. We know it's hard. It ain't hard for me. It's, it, it's hard. No, it I is hard. Let's be real. Cause it's hard. It was hard for us. But what I'm saying, we gonna keep it a buck with you, sis. I'm just keeping a buck with you about how I feel. I'm very godly. You feel me? What is godly? You're not gonna make me feel. Let's let's get wages of sin. Then let's get what godly is. Go ahead, read. This is the book of Romans, chapter six, verse twenty-three. For the wages of sin is death. Hold on, read it again for the sister walking away. But the wages of sin is death. So God says the payment. For sin, for not repenting, for not changing, right? For, for our sisters keeping that immodest apparel on. The wages of sin is what? Is death. Is death. Is death. Is death. Right. So, sis, it ain't about how we make you feel. This is coming straight from the Father. This is coming straight from God. Read it again. For the wages of sin is death. So, God said, the wages of sin is death. We didn't say that. We didn't write these scriptures. God uh, chose holy men and inspired them to write these scriptures. And he told them to write down for the, the wages of sin is death. We can't change that, sis. It ain't about how we feel. Because if it was about how we feel, guess what? We would have stayed in our pleasures as well. We'd have, we would have stayed getting tattoos. We would have stayed uh, uh, getting drunk, smoking weed. We would have stayed a nigga, right? But our, our people, correction is, is grievous to a sinful man. That's, that's what the scriptures say. And we, we say this all day to our sisters. Look, God said, repent. This ain't about us and how we feel. Because our flesh, right. is, 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 is long, uh, along with hers, says, says pleasure says we want pleasure that's what our flesh says but guess what we're not guided by our flesh we are guided by the spirit of god so god says regardless of what your flesh may want you better follow my spirit you understand nation is men leading by example Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord!